morning. I'm Councilman Bill Greenlee. It's great to be here with Councilman Green. I know Councilwoman Parker was, uh, helped organize this, and he's, she's represented here. She unfortunately isn't going to be able to, to attend this event. But I think what's important here, right, right now we're looking at the future of the city of Philadelphia, right here. And they're building blocks. They're, they're, they're building for their future. And uh, I think uh, City Council has shown it's important that we, we need to help them. Uh, we need to try to provide as much support as possible so that these young people can grow up and be productive, successful citizens in the city of Philadelphia. And uh, it's important that we start early because if when, when we wait too long, kids like this are going to be trying to catch up the whole time. And we, we, we see that. We've seen that for too long. And we, we need to start them early so they're not trying to play catch up, that they're, they're working from the very beginning. Obviously, they like to learn. They're, they're, they're into this. So this is a good example of why early childhood uh, education is extremely important. And I know I speak for everyone here that we're going to, uh, we're going to be supportive and, and we see the need and we're going to support uh, the future of the city of Philadelphia. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Councilman Derek Green. I want to thank my colleague, uh, Councilman Sherelle Parker, for putting together this event. Thank my, my colleague, Councilman Bill Greenlee, for also being here and all the early childhood providers and educators. Um, this is so very important that we focus on early childhood education. I had a chance to uh, spend some time with uh, Mayor Kenny when he did a kickoff at the Police Touch Museum. And it's so important to provide opportunities for young people to get educated as early as possible. I know for me this is very personal. Uh, my son was diagnosed with autism based when he was at an early childhood provider. And we were able to put him on the right path to where he is now, um, a 10th grade student uh, at one of our public high schools. But if it was not for early childhood education, we would not have known about some of the challenges and concerns dealing with autism. And all of the building blocks that we've been able to provide to my son all started with an early childhood education. That's why it's so important that city council and the mayor and everyone throughout the city continue to provide support for the caregivers, the providers, to give all children in the city of Philadelphia the right tools so they can have a progressive and great lives in the future and become our true future leaders and builders of our city. So thank you. Good morning. I am uh, not Councilwoman Sherelle Parker, uh, much to your surprise, I'm sure. Uh, my name is Solomon Leach. I'm the Director of Research and Communications for Councilwoman Parker, um, who very much regrets that she could not be here, but um, she has long been an advocate and a supporter of, uh, of early childhood education. She is a mother herself and uh, clearly understands the value and the importance of early childhood education. Um, we know that, that quality, high quality, affordable child care is not an option, it's a necessity, uh, right? And if we want to build a stronger city, if we want to attract more jobs um, to this city, we need to make sure that our children are educated uh, and that they're cared for with a high quality education. And the return on investment is also very clear. Right? Some studies say as much as $16 to every $1 spent on, er on early childhood education. So again, we want to thank the advocates first up, uh, the teachers, the parents for all that you're doing to prepare our young people. Councilwoman Parker, greatly appreciate your support. And uh, we just we need some folks in Harrisburg to realize that the city is doing our best to to uh, provide for, for early childhood education and, and not to take that building block away from our young people. So thank you. We need a parent to speak. Is in here parents? Where's your parents? Okay, this is one of our early childhood parents who would like to say a few words in the name of the program, your child. Hi, how are you? My name is uh, Caprice Williams. I'm a parent. Also, I am an employee at my child's school, um, Kinder Academy on Harbison. Um, when I first put my son in the school, he was very, very happy. I started seeing all his different developments that I didn't see before. And when I put him in there, I seen that it's very important that it expand not his only his academic skills, but his social skills. And I was greatly appreciative of Kinder, Kinder Academy Day. I had to be part of the team itself. And I thank you for that. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, here you go. Hello, my name is Valerie Manuel. I'm also a parent and a employee of Children's Playhouse Early Learning Center. I feel like this is very important because we want our children to succeed and that starts from the beginning. You also want to know that your child is getting quality care. And I mean, just the look and the feel of being comfortable and Children's Playhouse being active in the community and offering parents employment, it, it says a lot about the field that, you know, we're in. Another parent. Hello, I'm Chantel Winkster. Um, um, my child attends Lovely Starts of Tomorrow. And um, I want to... Hmm? Oh. All right. Um, my son um, attends Lovely Stories of Tomorrow, and he's four years old, and I am, he started out there when he was one, and I definitely can see the difference in his, his development and how he's being educated and he's being, and how he's growing. And I definitely want to say, you know, with the child care and the pre-K, I think we need it for our, not only for my personal issues, but I'm a, case, I'm a case worker as well. So I use it for resources for my family who, who are who needs the support and needs the resources and know about the program and know what their children need. So I want to say thank you. Good morning, my name is Chanel Hunter. I am an owner and director. My center, how you doing? My center is in Alany, part of the city, Family Circle Academy. I'm here today as a parent and an educator we need early child care, we need fundings, not just for my daughter to make sure that she's getting all of her developmental needs met, her social and emotional needs met, but we also need it for our parents so that they have an opportunity to go to work and have a safe place to leave their children. And we also need it to make sure that we're providing a worthy wage to our staff. Thank you. Okay, we have all these parents that took their precious time to come out and we will want them to be able to share their experience. Hello, my name is Yolanda. Uh, my son is Noah. We're part of the Family Circle Academy. Um, Ms. Hunter, as you just heard, has had four of my children and early in this year she'll be having my granddaughter. Um, for us, this daycare is not a facility, it is a community where our children can be who they are. And these are all kinds of children. I have two children with behavioral issues. Noah has autism and they've been able to direct him and mold him into this beautiful child. If you would have seen him a year ago, he was nonverbal, he was very shy. And now he's out and about and he's playing. And this is what I wanted to show the world, that childcare is needed it is a necessity and it's not what people consider a babysitter no there are people out here willing to teach your children mold them um, they take them to different places where children before only imagined we're just touching the iceberg of this i'm hoping today that people will get more together and learn that this is not child care this is a community and only us together working together can our children strive for a better tomorrow yes. We have one more provi provider just joined us. Hi. Come on. Hi, thank you everyone. Um, I'm from Beautiful Beginnings Child Care Center in Northeast Philadelphia. We have two locations. Um, at our Bustleton location, we have PHL Pre-K. <laughs> And we've been in operation for 13 years, and we are so proud to be a part of everything that Pre-K for PA represents. Uh, we are excited to change the future. We serve children from um, a diverse community, and um, we're excited to be a part of this endeavor and to change our future. Thank you. Okay, I just want to thank everybody for coming. We're going to take a group picture, and I really love to see all these parents, teachers, and children who's out here advocating for high quality childcare. This is our future, and we are going to build 
a future for these children, brick by brick, block by block. Thank you.